The story of 90 women, of the little village of Thohar Khalsa, Rawalpindi district, who drowned themselves by jumping into a well, during the recent disturbances, has stirred the imagination of the people of the Punjab. They revived the Rajput tradition, of self-immolation when their menfolk were no longer able to defend them. They also followed Mr. Gandhi's advice to Indian women, that in certain circumstances, even suicide, was morally preferable, to submission. Thohar Khalsa, situated at the foot of a hill, until recently belonged to members of a minority. It was small, prosperous, and pretty. About a month ago, a communal army 3,000 strong, armed with sticks, tommy guns, and hand grenades, surrounded it. The villagers defended themselves as best they could. They had two guns which they put to good use. But in the end they had to raise the white flag. Negotiation followed. A sum of 10,000 rupees was demanded by the besiegers. It was promptly paid. The intruders gave solemn assurance that they would not come back. The promise was broken the next day. They returned to demand more money and in the process, hacked to death 40 of the defenders. Heavily outnumbered, they were unable to resist the onslaught. Their women held a hurried meeting and came to the conclusion that all was lost except their honor. Following the example of Indian women of bygone days, they decided to evade inglorious capture. Ninety women jumped into a small well. Only three were saved. There was not enough water in the well to drown them all. ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਰੋਣਾ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਹ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਆਦਮੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੀ ਭੈਣ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਰ